spooky ghosts, grand conspiracies, strange missing person cases. We've all heard spooky stories that keep us awake at night. Well, some of these cases, such as the legends surrounding the Loch Ness Monster or alleged sightings of Bigfoot, have become classics among modern horror stories. Other mysteries that are no less strange are far less famous. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. We're going to show you 10 scary incidents that you've probably never heard before. Orang Madan Whether the ghostly death ship Orang Madan really existed is still hotly debated. Those who are convinced of the truth of this eerie story believe that the incident happened as follows. On June 27, 1947, the Orang Madan in the South Seas sent out an emergency call asking for medical help. When the American steamship Silver Star then contacted the ship in distress, its radio operator drew a disturbing picture. He stated that several of his crew members were lying dead on the decks. The last message the distraught man sent was, I'm dying. Then contact was lost. When the Silver Star reached the Orang Madan's position, the crew witnessed a horrific sight. All of the ship's crew members were dead. The wide-eyed and wasted faces of the corpses suggested the men had died in excruciating agony, although their bodies showed no signs of injury. When the crew of the Silver Star noticed smoke rising from the interior of the Orang Madan, they immediately reboarded their own ship. Moments later, several violent explosions occurred, setting the spooky Ship of the Dead in flames. The story has never been fully explained, and truth be told, there isn't much evidence to prove that this strange event ever actually occurred. If it did, though, many people are convinced that the ship may have met its ends at the hands of a paranormal event, but we can't know for sure. Other popular theories include extraterrestrials and otherworldly explanations. However, if this is true, what caused the explosions? The only logical assumption that some people believe is that the crew may have lost their lives due to some sort of chemical exposure, maybe fumes or otherwise. But this too is nothing more than speculation. Airship L-8 not all ghost ships drift abandoned at sea. When the U.S. Navy's airship L-8 landed in Daly City, California on August 6, 1942, there was no trace of the two-man crew. Particularly mysterious, apart from the sagging hull, the L-8 still seemed to be completely intact. To this day, nobody knows what became of the two men on board or what mysterious incident made them leave the airship. What is certain is that on that fateful day, the pilots were conducting a routine flight off the coast of San Francisco in search of Japanese submarines. The last radio message was at 7.42 a.m. A few hours later, the abandoned but undamaged airship was found on the ground. The Walter Collins Case On March 10, 1928, every mother's nightmare became reality for Christine Collins. Her nine-year-old son, Walter, suddenly disappeared without a trace. At first, the search for the missing child was unsuccessful. But when the desperate Christine was already expecting the worst after five months, she received the redeeming news from the police. They had actually found the boy. However, when the relieved mother took one look at the child that the officials gave into her care, she couldn't believe her eyes because this was not her son. However, the police were absolutely convinced that they had found the real Walter. With the mother's complaints continuing, officials eventually believed Christine must have gone insane in the months of despair and committed her to a mental institution. But then the case took a turn that was no longer considered possible. The boy who had been handed over to the mother confessed that he was not Walter. Christine Collins returned home and spent the rest of her life searching for her lost son, though Walter was never found. 
What makes this case so bizarre is that the police had photos of the child they were supposed to be looking for. They knew what Walter Collins looked like, and surely these officers were able to tell that the boy they had found was not the boy in the photo. According to some reports, the two boys didn't even bear a passing resemblance to each other. How the police managed to make such a disastrous mistake is unknown. Unfortunately, not only was Mrs. Collins forced to deal with the loss of her son, but she was also forcibly institutionalized at a psychiatric hospital, which was entirely unnecessary, and we all know how terrible mental hospitals can be. The Suicide Bridge Some places, such as the Aokigahara Forest in Japan, are known to attract suicidal people. The Overton Bridge in Scotland also entered the list of these sad places. But here wasn't people, but dogs who apparently knowingly threw themselves to their deaths. In the 1950s, an average of one four-legged friend died there every year, and in one year it was even five dogs. The suspicion quickly arose that there was a cruel curse on the 15-meter-high bridge, which leads to a stately 19th-century mansion. What was striking was the fact that the dogs all jumped off the bridge from the same spot. One of the animals that survived its fall even tried to jump again later. Some attempts at explanation say that mink nested under the bridge. This would have led the dogs to jump in search of the animals. However, the most gruesome incident that took place on Overton Bridge involved a human being. In 1994, a father threw his baby off the bridge, believing his child to be the Antichrist. So far, there's been no explanation for what causes this bridge to be such a scary place. Some people who visited the bridge claim that the land that runs beneath appears deceptively close to the bridge. If this is true, a simple optical illusion could have caused all these animals to leap to their deaths. This is merely a theory, and it hasn't been confirmed, but it's certainly possible that all the dogs simply didn't understand how high off the ground they really were. Havana Syndrome Why do U.S. diplomats in Cuba keep complaining about mysterious illnesses? What's really behind the symptoms such as headaches, dizziness, and hearing loss that many U.S. government officials struggle with when traveling abroad? What is certain is that nobody can say with absolute certainty what triggers the so-called Havana Syndrome. After an extensive investigation, U.S. intelligence services concluded that the physical suffering may be deliberate. Enemy secret services could be using electromagnetic impulses of a certain frequency spectrum to torment the diplomats from the USA. In 2016, after dozens of U.S. diplomats and their families living in Havana were complaining of strange symptoms for no apparent reason, the United States decided to reduce its embassy staff in the Cuban capital to a bare minimum. These bouts of illness started out simply enough. A handful of workers began complaining about headaches. However, over time, more and more workers began to complain that they felt ill, nauseous, and weak, and couldn't shake a buzzing feeling that was stuck in their heads. These symptoms only grew worse with time, and eventually the illness became unbearable. What was particularly disturbing was that, for many of these workers, simply leaving the embassy cured their ailments, but other workers weren't so lucky. It's been rumored that enemy forces may be doing their best to drive the United States away from foreign countries, hindering the country's ability to carry out foreign business. This has never been proven, but the situation is being actively investigated by authorities. The Max Headroom Incident Residents of Chicago already suspected during the 9 o'clock news that the television program on November 22, 1987 would differ significantly from the usual broadcasts. During a televised sports report, there was suddenly a strange noise. Shortly afterwards, a drawing of the then well-known character Max Headroom was displayed. Two hours later, the strange events were taken to the extreme. While the show Doctor Who was playing, Max Headroom reappeared on screen. 
this time not as a drawn image, but as a person wearing a corresponding mask. The man then started talking nonsense, cursing and gesturing like a madman. It took those responsible 90 seconds to regain control of the TV signal. Nobody knows who managed to hijack the broadcast signal back then and send the American TV landscape into a frenzy. The Max Hedrum incident has since become known as one of the most infamous television hijacking stories in history. It's been speculated that someone must have been stationed nearby in order to intercept the broadcast signal and override it. On top of this, it would have required a large amount of expensive and quite massive equipment in order to override such a powerful signal. Yet, someone managed to do it somehow. Investigators are still looking for the person responsible, but the case has now gone cold. The Lost Colony it was August 17, 1585, when 108 people living on Roanoke Island established the second English colony in North America. The governor, John White, who had been one of the first settlers and had meanwhile returned to England, visited the Roanoke colony again in the summer of 1590, but there was no trace of the inhabitants. The village presented itself in a dilapidated state, but there were no signs that the settlers had been attacked. Different theories exist as to what ultimately ultimately happened to the lost colony. One thesis assumes that the inhabitants of the colony mixed with the native Indian tribes and moved to other areas. Other assumptions say that the settlers were attacked and fled inland. Similar cases like this have been shared all throughout human history, with various tribes and villages seemingly disappearing overnight. No solid explanation has ever been found. But we must keep in mind that five years is an awfully long time for a small group to remain in one location. Various things could have forced the colonists to move elsewhere, even an ordinary change in weather patterns or water availability. Though with no members of the group ever being found, it seems increasingly likely that something much more mysterious threatened the inhabitants of the Roanoke colony. Tunguska Event it was June 30th, 1908, when the sky began to tremble over a region in Siberia. What triggered this ominous Tunguski event, which was accompanied by one massive or multiple violent explosions, depending on the source, remains an unsolved mystery. The most likely cause is the entry of an asteroid into Earth's atmosphere, which exploded several kilometers above the ground. Some estimate the Tunguski event with having an explosive force of 50 megatons of TNT equivalent. The damage caused shows the elemental force inherent in the incident. Entire forests were uprooted within a radius of 30 kilometers, and windows and doors burst in up to 65 kilometers from the center of the detonation. Experts estimate that up to 60 million trees were snapped. However, since the affected region in Siberia was extremely sparse, sparsely populated, there are no reliable numbers of dead or injured. The Bay of Jugs the Guanabara Bay extends over an approximate 380 square kilometer marine area in Brazil. In addition to the world famous metropolis of Rio de Janeiro and the no less prominent Sugarloaf Mountain, this exciting bay is also home to another exciting attraction that's hidden from the view of visitors hundreds of Roman ceramic jars on the seabed. The examination of the vessels showed that they were made in the 3rd century. According to official historiography, however, the first First Europeans didn't reach Brazil until around the year 1500. How is it then that ancient Roman artifacts sank into Guanabara Bay so much earlier? Since the area in question was declared a restricted zone in the early 80s, it's uncertain whether we'll ever get an answer to this question. European Sleeping Sickness Lethargy, sleep attacks, paralysis, in particularly severe cases, death. Between the years 1915 and 1927, the so-called European sleeping sickness was rampant on the continent. It's estimated that up to a million people were affected by this strange disease, 60,000 of them in Germany. Typically, those affected fell asleep suddenly and in very uncomfortable postures. In the period that followed, they complained of numerous other symptoms, including headaches, nausea, and fever. The final stage of sleeping sickness sometimes results 
resulted in complete immobility. At first, it was assumed that the disease was related to the Spanish flu, but this assumption was not to be confirmed. The scarlet fever pathogen and the herpes virus were later ruled out as triggers for sleeping sickness. So which virus was really behind these mysterious incidents is still unknown. One major fear is that this strange sickness may pop up again in contemporary times. However, so far, no more incidents have been documented. By all accounts, it seems as though this bizarre and excruciating sickness disappeared as quickly as it had come. We're interested in your opinion. Which mysterious incident captivated you the most? Let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date from now on. Thank you for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.